hello friends welcome to my youtube channel technical coach in this video i am going to tell you how to install checkpoint mds in vmware so friends you can see i have installed it and will show you how to install it and how to create management server in mds so as we know that mds used for mds can be installed on physical server or virtual server virtual machine okay in mds we can create multiple cma server multiple management server for different customers okay so let us start here how to install it on vmware and how to set up it okay so friends you can see i have already downloaded rt.10 okay gaia image to install mds so now we will see step by step how to install it okay and how to set up so friends you can see this is my vmware okay from here i have to create new virtual machine create click on file then click on new virtual machine and we have to select typical then click on next and you can see i have to select my image where is image browse and go to location here this is my gaia image okay now click on next now other we have to select here other 64 bit now click on next now you can give name here mds okay now we have to select location on which location we have to create here install it so i am going to select my location here okay so like location will be i have to create new folder mds okay you can give anything okay now click on next now we have to now we have to provide here hard disk size i am giving here 150 gb now click on next now customize hardware now we have to select here memnet 0 okay now memory memory can be minimum should be 4 gb or processor should be minimum 2 core okay minimum should be 2 core now click on close here now click on finish now now click here to power on now select install Gaia now click on ok select language select here keyword click on ok now leave it as it is default now provide your password here gaia portal now provide your pass ip address of mds in my case my mds ip address will be 100 or 200 my gateway will be 1 click on ok ok now it's installing here Gaia image after that on top of Gaia we will install MDS now friends you can see installation done now it will be reboot or after reboot we can log in with HTTPS call on 192.168.100.200 now press enter to reboot now friends you can see it's rebooted and prompt for login okay so now we have to run here first time wizard now go to your browser and log in with that IP address which you have provided 100 or 200 now click on advance and click on accept and provide here ID and password now click on login now we have to run here first time wizard now click on next click on continue you can change your ip address here i am going to leave it as it is now provide the host name mds click on next you can set your time or you can set your uh, ntp server here click on next here you can see 
either we can select here security management or security gateway or we can select multiple multi domain server okay so we have to select multi domain server now click on next so it will be my primary multi domain server or you can create secondary so first we have to create pr primary multi domain server okay so we will select here now click on next now click on yes to continue now it's asking select leading interface it will be eth0 okay now click on next now click on next here now click on next now click on finish to start installation this will start the configuration process so click on yes now you can see multi domain server configuration started here now friends you can see configurations completed successfully now click on ok now it will now you can see we have successfully configured management server ok now we can log in with yes ok so you can see we have logged in here now we can check our mds processes there is command is mds state okay now you can see up 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 okay now let's log in here with the smart dashboard okay if you have not installed your smart dashboard so you have to download here management software blade smart console from here and after that you can install so i have already installed a smart console okay so i can log in with here no, so I have to provide IP address of MDS password then you have to put your IP address then click on login now click on proceed now it will show you that this is your MDS okay now click on proceed so friend you can see this is my mds dashboard here okay here it will show my gateway or servers so friends as we know that in mds we can create multiple cma multiple uh, management server okay now we will create cma okay management server so let's see how to create first we have to provide here range ip range for CMA within that IP address we can create CMA management server okay so you can see this is management server IP address so now we have to click here multi domain so we have to provide IP range for our CMA so I can give my IP range for my CMA is 201 to 196.168.200.200 so friends within this range we can create cma okay log setting nothing is there click on okay okay so publish now we can create here domain server like cma1 customer1 okay customer management add-on we have to add domain server provide ip address of our cma 192.168.100.201 okay this will be my management server now click on ok trusted client which host can access this okay you can give any okay additional info nothing now click on ok are you sure want to continue click on continue here now it's start creating cma you can see it's start creating cma management server now friends you can see management server successfully created here okay now we can log in with this ip address or we can connect with here connect to domain server okay click on proceed it's launching here 
also we can connect with the smart console let me close this go to a smart console here also we can connect with this ip address 100.201 201 this is my manager server okay pass click on login now you can see we can also log in from here you can see this is my management server and this is my security policy now we can add our gateway from here add new gateway create cluster vxx anything you can do okay so friends in this video we have learned how to install checkpoint mds in vmware and how to set up it so thanks for watching this video have a nice day